Hi, it's Edie K. I might raise a few hairs in this video because I'm gonna stereotype a little bit about men and women, but I'm I'm qualifying this in advance to say it is a stereotype. Some men are different, some women are different, but for the most part, this is kind of a man-woman thing, but it's really gonna help you in your relationship if you'll just hear it and put it into play. I used to love yard sales. It was something I looked forward to every summer, going yard sailing. Uh, when I lived in Seattle, I went with my sister, and it was just something fun we always did together. And they're just fun, it's like treasure hunting. I don't do them as much as I used to, but I did really love them, especially early on in my marriage. And something that would always happen between me and my husband uh, really taught me a good lesson about relationships, so I wanted to share that with you. My husband and I would be on a drive or out and about on the weekends, and I would see a sign that said yard sale, and I'd want to stop. But instead of saying, hey, I want to stop at that yard sale, I would say, oh, yard sale, and point to the sign as we were driving past. And more times than not, he wouldn't stop. Most of the time, pretty much all the time, he wouldn't stop. And I'm thinking in my head, what a jerk. I can't believe I just said I wanted to go to that yard sale and he's not stopping. You know, what? A, how inconsiderate, what a jerk. So I'm creating this whole story in my head of what it means that he's not responding to the fact that I said yard sale. Well, in his mind, he's not a mind reader. In his mind, he heard me say yard sale, pointing one out. So what? Does it mean stop? It doesn't mean I want to stop. He's taking it very literal, which men are more literal. They take things very literal. And, you know, for, for the most part, again, women, we're very intuitive. So if we're with a girlfriend, a girlfriend or sister or a mother and we say, ooh, yard sale, intuitively we know and we understand that that means, ooh, there's a desire she wants to stop. And we probably would even turn and say, hey, do you want to stop? Or we might not even ask, say, ooh, I'll stop for you. Because it's obvious that you want to go there. But no, we don't. We're, with men, we do the same thing and it's not, it doesn't end up the same way because they're not intuitive. They're very literal and we're not asking for what we want. But then again, we create this whole story of not only does that mean he's a jerk, but he knows what I want and he's choosing not to do it anyway. That means he doesn't really care about me. All these crazy things when truthfully in his mind, you said nothing but yard sale. There's a yard sale. So anyway, over the years, literally, this is something that bugged me every time for years and, and, and really kind of tainted my view of my husband and his character even. So, you know, give, give or take a year or two, I've stepped up my game a little bit. Instead of pointing to the yard sale sign and saying yard sale, I would actually say, hey, there's a yard sale, do you want to stop? And he wouldn't. So again, I'm thinking, oh my God, he really is a jerk. <laughs> I was right all these years. He doesn't care, he's so selfish. He wants to do what he wants to do and he's not stopping. But again, I never said, I want to stop at that yard sale or pull over. I want to go to that yard sale. I said, do you want to stop at that yard sale? And again, I know this sounds like silliness, but you can apply this to anything in your relationship that you want and you have wanted for years and you've been passive about asking for it. You've been leaving clues and he's not picking up the clues and you're mad at him and you're thinking he's a jerk when in his mind he has no idea you want this. He hears you leaving clues and he doesn't know why he's taking those clues as that face value. He's not thinking they're clues. So I mean this is a critical component in relationships that so many people just aren't aware of. I wasn't aware of it either until I came across a relationship program that I had studied and they brought this up and I'm like oh my gosh I do that all the time. So I learned that this is kind of inherently in our programming, in the majority of women's programming, to be more passive, to not come right out and say what it is that we want, to leave clues and, and expecting them to read our minds instead of coming right out and saying, this is what I want, and making requests. As soon as we make that shift, they want to make us happy. For the most part, our spouses, our partners, they want us to be happy. They want to do things that make us happy. So as soon as I just changed the language and said exactly what I wanted in terms of the yard sale, he stopped. 
every single time. I just had to say it. Our partners, they want us to tell them what we want. They want us to tell them what we need. But we have created this rule in our mind that they should intuitively know what we want and need to feel significant, to feel important, um, to feel like we're appreciated, and that we shouldn't have to tell them. And that if we do have to come right up and tell them, that somehow takes away from the gift of them just giving it to us. And we're, and we're playing with two totally different wirings here between men and women, again, for the most part. Um, totally different wirings. So they're wanting us to literally say what it is that we want from them and to sit back and, and, and hold that information away from them and then be mad at them for not doing it, for not reading our minds and not doing it. It's just ineffective and it's going to cause all kinds of problems in your relationship that don't necessarily have to be there. So. I hope that helps you. I hope that little story helps you a little bit. I hope that you can, you know, apply that to some sort of example, maybe in your own marriage, in your own relationship. And I hope that you have an awesome rest of the week. Until next time.